familiar. Familiar is the place upon our shoulders we never look in times described by past. Over. The sea is vacant and smoky as the single aptitude test of a volcanus pyre spills forth in the nourishment that gushes everything over in flame that once becomes long ago in the past so long lost medieval to modern glass as the flame sprees over demons sitting on our shoulders familiar hovering over us we're eternally hungry stomach to soul is purged empty as we hang to a dry heave our noose over a throne where porcelain exists no mercy malevolence malevolence is a witch cunning like the spirits the banshee categories us as corporeal Victims, but some are practitioners. 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 Utilizing the concepts of magic to bring on the familiars from the darkness to sit upon our shoulders while we play cards with the devil. A Russian roulette game we can't win at a straight flush to seven errors, losses, the perfect number. And then you know, you recognize as your hand unfolds, and his hand is laid bare that the devil is one. And that whoever invoked the twilight of that witchcraft morning in great modern period stands in an era of combining the relationships of the allegedly existing and those that walk the earth victims of a second manner of practice the inner eye adapts and you feel awe stuck in the majestic moment as the touch exists two worlds existing in a prior happenstance moment that offered aid one another to stand beside rooted in a physical preliminary existence that the survival of the thick woods of a realm long lost and a dream at a well before the world's end in the mythology of the scholars that's written a fantastical event of the traditions of humanity wherein we're playing civil war on ourselves this is the end and the familiars are falling off as we look behind there and upon our shoulders we delivered not a last car nor did we hold our hand the roulette game we never won we gave up anyway and the 7,777 loss straight to the devil's hand as our stomachs wrenched contorted with the pain of the purge that we're hanging ourselves to ride heaving in a noose over a throne of glass built of fire because we had the mansion of golden thrones beside them was this the lonely existence they flame frozen porcelain in a new realm where we're eternally hungry and oblivion is but an empty stretch well at the world swear we're ending up one day because we're playing cards with the devil in a roulette game that we can't ever win in a 7,000 straight perfect number loss with a loaded chamber and we'll dial in that single order lock in to kill this is the worst plan ever but in the end, just like the vast vampire, 
coated his own fangs with silver, sunk them into his wrist, indebted to that which he stole the lives of so many calm victims that he became terrorized in the moment where they relapsed life. Amen. It's the word he denounced when his pathetic psalm of a culture came out for a breath. There was malice in the retroaction, artistic chivalrous moment wherein the nerves of the costume fell away and the hymnal of madness came back to life as the vampire watched himself die, fading to gray like flame frozen sand from a volcano, living earth, life, Function dust or glass. Half and half watch the ashes fall in a moment of regret in the mysterious prison of this world. What happened? The last memory is of regret and the happenstance reality journal check of an entry that swapped hatred for prejudice. Interchangeable words in the heart became a lidless eye of the demonized. Personality of a demon that we call a deaf existence to sell itself off, but not to science, because the self inflicted death of a vampire is a judgment no one can promise back from the undead, the unlimited faction of the armor of the propaganda that we write is fictional and yet the last one destroyed his life in a rotting moment six feet before under taking the clock's tick of time the sands drop in an hourglass and the imbalanced projection of the edge is skipping a beat in a formula of shadow before the grave in a lullaby that will put him to sleep in a sweet toxic melody fortified grace like the angels on parade attempting the inaudible crescendo of ethereal voices an atonement what is your abyss what is your armor what is your personality are you a projection of the past a rendition of your own history or are you something in the moment that matters, compassion to virtue, what are you?